What's up guys, it's Elam uh, with another video. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, this text feature in Onshape. So um, what we have here, I just have a rectangle right here. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't matter what size it is or whatever. I'm just going to show you this thing. Uh, you can actually write uh, characters in Onshape and it's a pretty cool feature. Let's say if you wanted to make a paperweight or you wanted to put numbers on a model or something. So, like, like I said in my, some of my other videos, like, the sky's the limit, your imagination is the limit to where you go with this. So I'm just going to walk you through how you do this. So you click on your uh, rectangle, like, whatever side you want it to, the text to be on, you hit sketch. And then it gives you a bunch of these sketch options. And then you hit this one, which is called text. And then you can drag or just move your mouse across. And you click on the other side, however large you want it. And it opens up this little like box right here. So it says default text. I'm going to put my name. And you have different fonts that you can choose. So I'm just going to choose that one. I'm going to hit check. And now it shows my name. So the reason it's giving me all these errors is because I have, I drew this text box as a rectangle. And then the, it is like um, over defining it because in order for my name to be like this, the, um, it has to be this size and it can't be the same size as the rectangle. So um, this is actually a good example of how to fix these problems when it shows all red. So if I hover over here, it shows that this line is parallel to the text box. So if I click this, let me hit escape real quick. And then... Okay, let's try this. Delete sketch entity, right? Now it works, okay? So you just sometimes have to delete some of them, but you have to be careful which ones you delete because sometimes it can really mess up your, your text. So here's my name, and if I want to, I can move this around, I think. Let's see. Yep, I can move it around. But you see it kind of, it kind of like moves to scale, so you really can't, uh, have it exactly the same size as this rectangle <laughs> depends what font you're using or whatever So yeah, and then let me see if I can dimension this so the distance from here to here is 0.525 so let's that make that 0.25 There you go And then I mean you can center it you can make it really small too if you want it to like this Or like that so let's just say I want it like that. I hit extrude. And then it, it kind of extrudes it. It looks weird like this. So if you just want it to just show so like you can see the text, what I normally do is I have it at like 0 0.05 inches. And it'll show the text still. And it won't look really weird sticking out like that. So that's one way you can do like the text. And that's how you can like write something down and then you can extrude it on a surface i hope you guys enjoyed this video um, like share comment and subscribe and stay posted for more don't forget to hit that notifications bell um, to keep up with my latest uploads and if you have any questions just let me know down in the comments and as always thank you for watching